hello everybody so now here we will see we will take a project to do with tf idf so if you are following the series of this nlp you must have seen that we did a project on movie review analysis right sentiment analysis on movie reviews just to figure out whether the review is positive or it is negative all right so for that we considered the movie data so same thing we are going to consider for tf idf as well it's just that instead of using the bag of words we will try to use tf idf vectorizer and we will see if that helps in improving the accuracy and all those things right f1 score and all these things so let's let me just take you over here so like you can see over here as well here i have taken the data and i have performed all those sort of uh, analysis i mean data exploration and uh, you know filtration of the appropriate data and then cleaning cleaning includes lemmatization stop words removal and all those things so i have performed all those things and then i did the split of train and test data as well now the time comes in when we need to start with uh, vectorizing the data right so for that what we're going to do is from sklearn dot feature extraction we can say feature extraction dot text import tf idf vectorizer all right you don't need to import the for uh, transformer okay now once we are done with importing this then we need to create the vector for it all right let me call it model i'll call it model okay and then i gonna say tf idf vectorizer this is instance created now we need to uh, you know train our model on this for that we're gonna say model dot fit transform okay and into that the data which i'm going to use is extreme then over here i would say trained trained vector let's call it trained vector all right so our vector is being trained over here once that is trained then we will move forward and do the prediction or rather let me call this vec because model is something which I will be creating next. Okay, so let's just call it back. And again, it is training. Looks like it is trained. Now the next thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna import the uh, you know model. So I will use the naive bias mo uh, a naive base model over here for the sentiment analysis, same as we did in a uh, bag of words. So how can we get that? So for that we're gonna say from sklearn dot let's call naive base import multinomial nb okay and now we're gonna say model equals to multinomial nb then let's call it model dot fit and inside that we gonna use the trained vector trained vector the uh, this is the vector which we just created over here on x train and then we're gonna say x uh, trained vector and then we're gonna say y train right so let's just execute this looks like it is done then the next thing which we gonna so our model is fitted okay our model is trained now the next thing which we need to do is again create another vector and then um, um, then we will be using that vector for prediction let's do that okay so for that i am going to say test vector and over here i would say vec dot fit transform and inside that i will use x test all right fit transform so i will be putting the x state data now once this is done it is using just in over here just let, let's just give it a few seconds all right so this is done next thing which we're gonna do is model which we just trained over here on that i'm just going to call model predict and inside that i would say test vector 
and over here I will call y test and let's just see oops predict take two optional argument three were given let me try this and then this let's just see if this works now I just made a mistake here I just don't need to provide this and with this we can give it to fit transform only and let's just call this okay so over here this thing uh, the prediction will be done and then we will check the accuracy to check the accuracy we would require to put this uh, along with the data now let's see what is the problem that we got over here dimensions mismatch so let's let me just do a rerun of these things sometimes it just works so i'll all right so we are done with this over here i will say prediction and let's have this prediction printed over here okay now we have the prediction we have the x test data fit into that and now we have the y test so we are just going to compare prediction and y uh y test value but for that we require from sk learn dot metrics import import classification report classification report perfect now the next thing which we're gonna say is classification report and inside that i'm going to say prediction and then we're gonna say y test let's run this okay to make it look good what we're gonna do is we're gonna say print oh it's just worked now you see over here the f1 score which we got is 83 percent and here which we the f1 score which we had was just 81 right so it is quite improvised right if not much then still it's it's better than what we had over here right from 81 to 83 that's 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 good i won't say it's it's less right so this is this is how you can you know you uh, utilize the tf idf further if you want you can append this prediction data into the main data frame let's just let me just do it for you so for that because we have the same structures what we can do is let's just take this from here and over here i'll simply put this because we have the same structure ditto same structure all right so x test y test and predicted instead of predicted we have the prediction all right now let's just run this Ooh, here we got it now next thing if you want to see where the predicted sentiment is not equals to the actual sentiment let's try that here is what we got you see over here these are something where predicted one is not actually not equals to the actual sentiment so this is how you can use the tfidf you know um, uh, tfidf vectorizer right and what tfidf is i explained in previous to previous video how to implement that into uh, how to implement and understanding it uh, understand its scoring system we uh, we we started in the previous video and here we just saw how we can use that in a project all right so i just hope that it was clear to you just in case if you got any doubt put that into the comment section i'll be happy to answer that thank you very much take care